On today's episode of Watch JR Go, we're gonna work on Gabe's minivan. Yeah! What is going on guys? I am Watch JR Go, and today we are here at O'Reilly's, uh, the old O'Reilly's, and uh, we're here to pick up some parts for Gabe's van. Oh no, you go. Oh, you want me to go? Yeah, yeah I mean, you oh, have the broken sure. leg. No, that's true. So. Gabe is walking now, as you guys can see. Well, thanks, Jesse. We're out of here. See you later. Cheers, guys. Gabe's got the parts. Everything was in stock. We got coolant. We got a thermostat housing. What's this thermostat housing? It's a... It's, uh, it's a box. A 90803. <laughs> a 9083, but not quite like that. Work Cayenne. Gabe, did you see the back of this thing? Which one? Did you see how work Cayenne this is? Oh. It's literally just stacks of tools, my Harbor Freight tool bag. I mean, it's a work Cayenne. Yeah, that works. And just like that, we are here with Gabe's van, his Volkswagen Rutan, also known as the Dodge Grand Caravan. Also known as the, uh, don't show the garage, what? man. <laughs> all right, so. Here's the is... thing. Gabe has been hoarding all the MREs from the military. He probably took out like a, a, a helicopter, I assume, and <laughs> stole all their MREs. That's what happened. That's why we can't show the garage. Yeah, I, I got nothing. I'm just. <laughs> This is like majorly embarrassing. Yeah, for no, me. no, who cares? My garage looks the same now that nothing fits in the house anymore. So I just moved everything to a new one when it got too full. That's how that works. <laughs> That's how dad did it. That's how America did it. And it's worked pretty well so far. So what you're saying is I got to get a new garage to store my MREs. That's right. How do we get this funnel off your radiator? Because it's totally in the way. Yeah, we'll just pull it up. It's got that little plug in there. It does it really? Oh, OK, OK, I yeah, see, so I see. Pull the whole orange huh? I don't know how these uh, fancy doodads work. Uh oh, street racers are out. Pizza Boy's find another way home. <laughs> so what happened Road's here? Roads closed. Roads closed, Pizza Boy. Uh, that is the bleed screw right there. And Gabe went to pop it off so he could put some coolant in this thing. Well, just to even untwist it a little bit and it just sheared right off of there. Yeah. So the thermostat housing, if you guys can see it, there you go. It's what's spraying cooling out of the top of it there. So it's uh, two tins holding it on, I think. And we're gonna try to get everything out of the way real quick. Maybe just the power steering reservoir is enough for you to get in there easy. Maybe. And then uh, we can get pliers in there and rip that thing out. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, so we're trying to get this clamp off of the hose and I think we're close. Everything under here tastes sweet. It's still like, you see the antifreeze? There's like a fog. Oh in yeah. There. <laughs> I'm eating it slowly. Slowly eating the antifreeze. Oh, come on, don't let go. No chance of you overheating. <laughs> That's facts. <laughs> Swallowing so much antifreeze. It was an accident, doctor. I wasn't trying to drink it. Do not drink antifreeze. Yes. This is a joke. This is the one thing that God let Satan create. What? Those clamps. Oh, dude, I love these clamps. They're like the best in the world when they're accessible. Key word. <laughs> if they're not, if they're not. <laughs> You're in for a great day. You're in for a wonderful time. I got it. I finally got the clamp. <laughs> oh, I got it. Woo! I got it. He's a man, the myth, the legend. I don't know about any of those, but I am a guy who can twist a radiator hose. There you go. So if you need one of those, <laughs> no one ever needs one of those. No, no. <laughs> Until they do. Until they do. And then, and then they don't have one. Right. Okay, I'm gonna put this up as high as it can. Wow, that works great. Seems like a good spot. So this is the only good thing I'll say about the 3.6 liter. What's that? Uh, thermostat, thermostat housing? housing. Yeah, it's, it's so perfect. It's really not bad. Actually, you got that pretty loose, don't you? Yeah. I'm gonna, uh, top one is loose, bottom one's still probably gonna slip a bit. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do a, a ratchet delete then. <laughs> nice. Delete. That's for ratchet. We're trying to hurry so we don't lose all of his coolant because obviously this G04 or whatever, G40, it's so expensive. That's like $22 a bottle. Ish. Yeah. Because yeah, this was like, the, when we went to O'Reilly's, it was like $40. Mm -hmm. Most of that was the coolant. It was, yeah, more expensive for the coolant <laughs> than it was for the part. Yeah, I, I don't put that coolant back. I wouldn't. But people will complain and be like, you have to use the spec coolant or the whole thing will blow up when it, it's always fine. I do it so I can stub my nose at people. Do you? Yeah. It's well, like, it, yeah, I use the expensive coolant. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, what do you use? Peak Universal? Well, yeah, because it's universal. 
It's literally in the name. Oh, you can't do that. Yeah. That, that won't work. That's just not, that's not how cars work. Nothing's universal. All right, I won. Get ready to jump back. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. I'm getting murdered by hot coolant. Let's swap out. No. All right. It's close enough. John Ross, the man who stays to the end. Oh, my fingers. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. One down. And it's dark outside. Yep, we're done. You're only getting one bolt back in it, don't worry. Well, that one looks terrible, so I guess it's an upgrade. I mean, the O-ring's a big smushed, and you can see it's got, like, some, some leakage. It looks like it's been seeping. You can see all the crustiness outside of it. Yeah, it's actually been leaking for a while. I've been limping it okay. for some months. Okay, okay. Now i got to try to find that. We're switching to the rubber gloves <laughs> now that my insulated ones are full of coolant. My brand new insulated ones. Um, ah, you rinse them out, they'll be all right. Yeah, I'm going to try. <laughs> I'm going to try. It's too expensive not to. So now I'm going to clean out the thermostat mount housing uh, mounting flange here. This is a, a nice job, honestly. Like, take out two bolts, literally three bolts total. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I've got no complaints at all with yeah, this one. Yeah, can't be upset about that. No. And then boom, job done. Mm -hmm. So it's right underneath the power steering reservoir. If you take off the one bolt for that, it really does buy you all the room you need to get this whole job done. Yep. And then two tins hold it on. Yep, so it's a 13 for the, for the reservoir bolt. And that's all you need right there. That's it. All right, I'm going to make sure this thing's nice and crispy clean, and it is. Now you guys can see where the thermostat housing mounts right there. Yeah, it's like a, it's a little tough to see because it's buried down in there, but it's right there, and it's this whole surface. Well, you shoved a flashlight back there in the back, which does kind of help out. Yeah, there you go. There you go. And uh, if you hold this out of the way, the power steering reservoir, you'll be good to go. It didn't even leak that much. This is kind of an impressive job. Just don't break off your cam position sensors because they're they're right there and they're close to your work area. Yeah, your, your job is going to get a lot worse if you break those off. <laughs> At least a lot more expensive. They're, they might be easy to change, but it's going to hurt the wallet. Okay, there's the new housing and our two bolts going back in. This is one of those jobs that took longer to make the video about than it did to do. I'm not complaining though. You're not doing anything. Well, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> was there, I even dropped a bolt, and this job still isn't taking that long. Yeah. Like this is a, this is a fun job. All right, somewhere in here there's a, a hole I gotta find, right there. Hopefully this fixes your, your whole problem. Oh, I've got lots of problems. No, but I think this fixes most of it. Oh, th th this thing still ticks, doesn't it? Yeah, we got the tick thing, and we know that that's going to be, uh, well, it's been going on long enough, so it yeah, might years, be more than just the years. rocker. It oh, might is be it the, a, okay. Yeah, we know it's a it's a rocker on the the left bank. Okay. Don't know which one exactly, but... Uh, I see. It's been going long enough, it might have just ground that cam down a little bit, so... <laughs> it's just like a Hemi. Yeah. Eventually it killed its own cam towers. There you go. I mean, Dodge loves to build stuff that does that. Hey man, have you considered uh, wiping out that engine at about 100,000 miles so they can buy another one? Yeah. It's already in there, bro. That's how the marketing meeting went. We, we put it. <laughs> we, we already got, we got it for you. 100,000, it's coming back. New engine. How tight you want this? How tight you want to make it? I don't know. That's going to be a new shirt. How tight you want this? <laughs> Schmedium. <laughs> Let's go for an Ooga Dugga. <laughs> One Ooga Dugga. Yeah, we'll go two Ooga Duggas. All right. Put in a two Ooga Duggas. Two Ooga Duggas. Should be enough to... Uh, for those of you following at home, that's somewhere between 15 and 20 pounds. <laughs> is it? I don't know. My wrist always pops at Three 20. Ooga Duggas is your wheels are on, so that's 100. So that should be, I guess, yeah, 33 each. Yeah. All right. I guess that's actually factual, huh? There you go. Wow. Scientific today, fact now. Today we learned... Oh, and that film. But look. It went all, all the way, way through. We won again. So this bottom one takes a lot longer than the top one. The top one's already tight. It took yeah. like 10 seconds. The bottom one's pretty hard to reach. It's got that one cross member. Not a cross member. What is it? The, the frame. Yeah, it's, it's a not, frame. Yeah. You want me to jump in there now? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not going to make you do it while you're, while you're down a foot. So you're going to you got to be fast with your radiator hose. Otherwise, it's going to leak everywhere. So, and it's on. Yeah. Time. 
I guess I gotta get you Taco Bell this time. What you need to get me Taco Bell for? No, yeah, you know. Most times you get me Taco Bell. So. <laughs> Here's the thing. I got a limited Taco Bell the other day. Nice. With a cheat code. So one of my friends wanted to buy my old MacBook. The one I was editing on for like the last few years. Right. So I sold it to him. But this guy owns a Taco Bell. So he wanted a deal and I was like, no deals. $1,500 is the price. It was a $3,000 laptop, you know? And he was like, no, nah, I'm getting a deal. I was like, no. Nah. But then he showed up to buy the laptop and he had a hundred free Doritos Locos Tacos coupons for me. Oh, snap. And I was like, uh, all right, I'll take a hundred dollars off. So, I mean, that is like $200 of coupons or something. I have a whole desk of them. That's uh, a whole bunch of loco. Yeah, it's very loco, if you think about it. We went and got the correct tool for this, and now it's going to become an even easier job than it was before. So will this tool now find its way into the... Into the working Porsche? Into the working Porsche? The no. working man's Porsche. No, it will not. I have no use for it there. I hardly ever need these, but when you do, you need them, yeah. you know? That's just how how it works. True that. When you need it, you're gonna need it. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> Never gets old. Nope. Finally. So for some reason getting this off was actually really easy, but putting it back on was a, a nightmare because of how much the clamp loosened up when it clamped down on that super loose hose. So now, I think I've got it enough that I can use the pliers to finish it off. It needs to slide on just a little bit more, and for some reason, the uh, remote hose clamp plier isn't giving me enough grip. So, all right, Gabe, throw me a hand. Uh oh. Yep, hold on. We have succeeded. Nice. She's back together. That's it, isn't it? That's it, right there, right on top that of That is there. literally That's it. the whole job. Uh, I think we're already done. I think that was the. Wait, that was it? I think that was the whole job. I guess you have to put coolant in it and, well, yeah, and bleed it and not break the bleeder screw. So there's that. Well, in my defense, yeah, that bleeder screw was really, really old. Yeah. So I'm gonna try this one. Yep, we're good. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's fill it up. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So you got this fancy. You don't need this. You could use a Bluetooth funnel, you know? I could, I could, but. I'm not that technologically advanced. I still, oh. you know. You should like the old school way? I like the old school way. I'm a big fan of Bluetooth. Oh, wait, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it was a joke or not. <laughs> nobody, nobody told me. Oh, she's thirsty. Probably because everything leaked out. Most things leaked out. Man, it is really taking all that coolant. Yeah. All right, here we go. Hey, the thermostat opened. We're getting some Michael uh, Blair. Yeah, it's dry. This hose still isn't full. It's almost full. Oh. Man, you really, you're really going for it there. Hey, man, you're optimistic. I'm, I'm full commit. I'm very optimistic about this. Oh yeah, the hose just got like super hot. Good deal. Let me crack that again. Got some air too when we did that. So. Does. Well, a couple more rounds of bleed, and we're probably there. All right, he's gonna do it. He's gonna pull it. Oh, I should really switch to a cap at the same time. Yeah. You ready? Ready for the high speed? Wait, that wait, wait. You're gonna switch caps while you do it? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a. No, it's not gonna be. I'm gonna try though. I'm gonna go fast. Okay. There's that. Okay. And here's this. And. See? See? All right. All what right. what was impressed. the time? Was, the time was about one second. I don't know. Could have been five. I, I didn't see what went by there. <laughs> it was too fast. It was all a blur. It was, it was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Oh, snap. All right, Gabe, you want to do the hard part? Yeah. I'll, I'll go for that. <laughs> oh, my back. <laughs> he breaks another thing. Oh, mistakes are made. <laughs> All right, let's get out. Let's go drive this thing. All right. How's the temp? Holding? Holding. Cool. Just oh, it's under. over there, yeah. Two. Yeah. Just around 200? Yep. I like it. Nice and hot in here. It is. The heat works better than the cooling system for the engine. Oh, yeah. 
It might be the same okay. thing, but for some reason it's like 200 in here. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's Crispy. gonna burn you out, dude. Yep, it is warm. Well, I guess we get to go rip this thing around. Ah, eco mode. Okay, great, now it's gonna fall apart. I ruined your life. <laughs> Yo, so the, the other night I walked out of my house, right? And one of those H2s rolled by. Yeah, and it has like, you know, it's a it's an LS. It's the greatest engine ever made. So you can hear it coming. You're like, oh yeah, that sounds good. And then all of a sudden another one right behind it. Really? And they were bombing through the neighborhood. I am not kidding. Like it looked like the raid scene in every movie when the cops are rolling in and they're in the old, you know, oh, back in the day they'd give them Hummers and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The old H1s <laughs> yeah. and stuff. Well, yeah. no, 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 H2s. H2, you know, early 2000s H2s. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The military, everybody had H2s. That was the next, that was the next move. So I was thinking, the other night what if i go buy three new escalades and everywhere we go there's usually three of us we drive all three dude that'd be dope i'm always riding in the middle one <laughs> the middle one's mine I in mean, case the convoy gets attacked i, I mean <laughs> but you're gonna have a fire team with you, you know? we do need a fire team need a fire and team. we need a, a fourth escalade with a turret on the roof i see oh you know That's, which one yeah okay yes. all right I do have a uh, gunner's turret ring and all that stuff. I we're, mean, we we're could, good to go. Yeah, got the whole box and everything set. So. I have a sawzall. You want to get started? Shh, let's do it, dude. <laughs> I'd love to. Well, we've been driving this thing for quite a while now. I think it's good now. Oh yeah. I mean, we bled it again. It's full of coolant. We can drive it. Around right here. You can drive to. it anywhere. I, go? I don't care. Yeah. You can go wherever you want. You know what? I'm gonna go right here and turn around. Should be good to go for that's, that's years. Yeah, because that's been the last time that I did anything to it. <laughs> yeah, so. that's right. <laughs> well, that's it. That was just a super easy job. It took way less time than I thought even. No, it was fun. I mean, it should for three bolts. Anyway, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to shopwatchjogo.com for cool shirts just like this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do. And I will talk to you next time. Whenever you want to switch back to normal shoes from your uh, hype shoes here. <laughs> You don't like that? No, that, I'm saying I that's, mean, that's like a Balenciaga dude. or something, right? Something Kanye would wear? That's what Kanye's dude, been wearing! this is what Kanye's been wearing! That is that what is he's it. been wearing! That's it. Who knew this Have whole time? Have you not seen all of the video lately dude. of him? <clears throat> no, I just never put two and two together. I thought they were now. rain boots. That's what he's wearing in all of his stuff. Holy Man. cow, dude. All right. I've been balling this whole time <laughs> yeah. and didn't know it. You, you have. <laughs> all right, let's put up all this junk. <laughs>